do not completely rely on intuition. Use intuition to check if there are any potential flaws in design or analysis. But imagine if you don't have intuition. Imagine you're just relying on numbers. Imagine if you're not thinking about it, what will happen? Firstly, AI will completely transform the way we do things. But the real question is that can we rely completely on AI? The answer is, so AI is a tool. If you give same prompt with two different accounts, will it give you the same answer? I'm just finding that question. You know, one of the question was that what are the potential risks of uh, this intuition process? This is very <laughs> interesting. What I'm saying here is that do not completely rely on intuition. Use intuition to check if there are any potential flaws in design or analysis. These days, modern days, we have really very complicated structures. To get the structural form, to get buildability, to get stability, we cannot completely rely on intuition. But imagine if you don't have intuition. Imagine you're just relying on numbers. Imagine if you're not thinking about it, what will happen? Failure or something will not work. So don't completely rely on intuition. <laughs> intuition really helps. The next repeated questions which was coming related to as <laughs> <laughs> As structural engineering professionals, how should we prepare ourselves for developments in AI in field of structural engineering? I think I saw the relevant question earlier uh, as well. And th thanks for thanks for this question, Rahul. We had, I think, a couple of similar uh, questions as well on AI. So I will cover them all together. All right. Excellent. This, this is a very excellent point. In my view, the short answer is that firstly, AI will completely transform the way we do things. And it will not be different to what we do, right? But the real question is that can we rely completely on AI? The answer is we can't completely rely on AI. We can treat AI as a tool like we treat intuition as a tool. So AI is a tool. If you give same prompt with two different accounts, will it give you the same answer? I'm asking you, will it, will it give you the same answer? Certainly not. And I've tried this. So I was trying to create one LinkedIn post on one of my normal account where I wanted to think in my way by giving some prompts and giving my ideas and Chat GPT generated really very useful uh, response, and then I modified it. I wrote it in my own words. But with another account, I created a new account, and that was a paid account as well. That was using the latest versions of Chat GPT. I gave the same prompt, and guess what? I got a complete rubbish response. I I got complete useless response, and and then I thought that maybe. AI and machine learning, it's based on how you train it. So if it is trained better, if it can see that you have these views, you have these points, it will generate a similar response. So you are the one who is controlling it. But AI will transform engineering profession, it will transform education. Students will use it in solving their coursework. Students will use it in solving their assignments, which is a good thing. So we have to think about different ways of dealing with these things. <laughs> so uh, let me come back. And I want you to think about what is role of AI. And in my view, it is to simplify our lives. And I want you to think what is role of an engineer? In really very simple terms, role of an engineer is to simplify our lives as well. So 
So when the roles are aligned, how can these things work against each other? Certainly these things will not work against each other. They will complement each other and it will force us to learn new skills for the benefit of society, for the benefit of profession. And another very useful question in in the comments, in the comments that Bhavan shared with me, it was that, is AI going to replace structural engineers? I think in actual words, it was, uh, will AI steal our jobs? <laughs> and the answer is absolutely no. Because when roles are similar, then it will not replace you. AI will not replace you. You will replace AI. Lighter side, Abhishek is saying that our boss uh, uses to reward us with more work. Oh, you cracked it. Uh, so here is another one for you. Excellent. I think I think one of the comment here was that you should become a YouTuber or something. Was it? <laughs> there was a comment I read earlier. It was. Uh, I already have a YouTube channel, but uh, I don't actively promote it on platforms like this because my intention is giving is to help people, it's to engage people, is to share uh, information. I'm not here to promote any my book, All right? <laughs> so, I don't have a book yet. I have a book chapter. <laughs> so, uh, yes, I have a YouTube channel. I'm trying my best to explain the things. And uh, I have learned quite a lot from YouTube, actually. It is It has improved me a lot as a person and this this is a different story which i will share probably in my uh, next uh, session in today's audience if your audience like it maybe we can have a follow-up session on different things and <laughs> bhavin and i can share experiences on how to grow on linkedin and how to grow on uh, youtube although mine is not grown up yet so i'm still in the process of <laughs> learning and the other day uh, when i was thinking about this workshop this session then uh, i was driving and something came into our mind and i was constantly thinking about that and that is my own personal quote and as soon as i got to work and that instantly wrote it on on paper <laughs> all right and this is something because i i think that i really enjoy engaging with people sharing information and that really makes me alive all right and I prepared my uh, quote, and I think I should have copyrighted it before sharing it, but I will share it today. So if you allow me, <laughs> Bhavan, I will share. <laughs> that quote is that when we gain knowledge or when we achieve something in some way, we have a responsibility to share it, what we accomplished with others. This is for the benefit of society. And this is what I call inclusion, which I really deeply believe in. Thank you so much. Okay. Abhishek is saying that I differ in opinion here. AI is basically another engineer with better computational speed, but with zero practical experience. I don't <laughs> trust AI. I never will. I am old school. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. Excellent insight. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He's saying AI just add our work but not take away our job. I have tried AI but many times fail at uh, engineering design tasks. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Shoraz so is saying that can you help me uh, return engineer who has forgotten concepts where to start? What is based book you may recommend for Euro codes for company structural design? I think he might have joined late. Yeah. You already yeah. suggested the books, yes. right? Yeah. Okay, so there are many uh, points which are coming <laughs> up. But I, yeah. but I think it was a, it was a great session. Uh, I think the audience must, must have liked uh, or they must have gathered so many points through the discussion. And I can see there are so many points right, which we could not touch upon. I really, really enjoyed 
I really enjoyed this session and uh, I was looking forward to it and I was really excited and I'm glad that uh, we talked and it's really, uh, I felt like a human connection. I felt like I'm physically there. So <laughs> it's just a good thing because in online sessions, normally it feels like you are outside, right? you are somewhere 5,000 miles away, but it doesn't really feel that <laughs> it's 5,000 miles away. It feels that we are in the same room next door. <laughs> so it is a comment. Now this is a comment from Africa. Uh, great presentation. I have been following your design tutorials from Uganda. Yeah. Oh, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Okay, based books for Indian code, steel, and RCC structure. About books, I would like to add one thing. Many books, they focus on codified design provisions. As engineers, think about process. Don't think about codified provisions. They are fine. And in the design codes, you would see that the language is really, really hard because most of the time they are developed based on research of academics and as academics, we try to impress people not to inform them. <laughs> so uh, don't simply try to focus on codified provisions, focus on design principles. Design principles are that if you are designing a secondary steel beam, then what do you need to check? First, you need to see that if the top flange is fixed with the slab or not. Then if it is fixed, you design it as a restraint beam. If it is not fixed, it will buckle. You design it as buckling beam. And what do you need in secondary beam? You need three checks. You need, you need first of all, um, moment check. You need shear check. You need, thirdly, deflection check. But what is the most important check? That it will almost certainly pass. And that does not require you to have any design provisions. Almost certainly any design codes, American codes, British codes, Indian codes, Canadian, Australian, whatever. And formula for uniformly distributed load is very simple. 5 WL power 4 over 384 EI. Is, is that the correct formula? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, all right? I'll be in trouble if I say it wrong. <laughs> Forgive me if it is wrong, all right? <laughs> so the formula is simple. So you work out this and you compare it with the deflection limit. Deflection limit is span over 360 for simply supported beams. And if it performs well in deflection, I guarantee you 100% that restrained beam will perform well in bending and in shear as well. And in case of unrestrained beam, where the where you have buckling, the critical design check is checking buckling moment. It's not deflection. So if you understand these two things, certainly you don't need design codes, do you? It's just that basic principle, designing from first principle. Okay, Shuresh Kumar is saying that, uh, thanks, sir. We have a nice discussion in the late evening and we'll go to this sleep with good intuition. Yeah. <laughs> Certainly, I will go to sleep because I, I really enjoyed the session as well. And if your audience, they like me, we will definitely plan another session. But you have given me one thing, actually. And I'm thankful to your audience and you as well. The questions were really very useful. And some of the questions, they have got me thinking about how to change my practice, how to change my mind as well. Right? So... <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for that. Certainly, we, we will plan uh, follow-up sessions based on the interest of the audience. So we can uh, we we may request audience also that you can also write uh, uh, you know additional points in the comment box. So once we finish this live stream, the video will be automatically uploaded uploaded on the YouTube. And in the comment box, uh, you can still uh, put up your additional points. You know on which we may have uh, for future sessions aligned. Okay. So all are saying uh, thank you. Yeah, Abhishek is saying which AI tools. Okay, you can uh, put your know, additional queries now into the comment box. We'll pick uh, comments from there. Okay. Okay, so with this, uh, let us stop at this point and we'll certainly come back uh, with more interesting sessions 
uh, as a follow up sessions on this topics right thank you thank you thank you so much babin for having me and giving me this opportunity to we are very thankful for you uh, to uh, to talk, to talk about you know this topic because initially we we thought that there may be interest uh, uh, only may be aligned with the uh, students only but we could say yeah. that there are so many practicing engineers uh, joined <laughs> into the discussion yeah that's what i thought as well <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah okay uh, anurag is saying it was a great session Okay, Tushar is saying thank you. Welcome. Okay, Naman is saying thank you, sir. Okay, so so we we are also very much thankful of Dr. Javed for sparing valuable time and sharing insight about uh, discovering this intuition in structural analysis. And I'm sure it will give a certain uh, you know better way forward in, in the career, like how to utilize uh, this intuition in the our day-to-day -day practice of structural engineering, right? Okay, Manohar Mata is saying nice and interesting session. Okay, yeah. Okay, so with this, uh, let's stop at this point. So goodbye from our side. We are stopping this stream now. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, Bye. everyone. Have a nice sleep. Yeah. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>